Chapter 14 Constructing Buildings and Bridges Constructing a building is a complicated process. The very first instances of construction are the shelters that early humans used to build for themselves. While they mainly used caves as their homes and shelters, they also built crude shelters from wood and leaves. Actually, the first human-made shelters were believed to have been built with tree branches and stones. Gradually, with the discovery of fire and invention of the wheel, the modes of construction changed and people started to build homes with dried clay, mud and bricks. Today, humans make homes, bridges and roads with bricks, cement, wood, stones, steel, marble, etc. Let us learn about the materials used to construct such buildings or houses. Bricks. Bricks are the most common building material. They are red in color and rectangular in shape. They are mostly used to construct the walls of buildings. Bricks are made from clay. At first, clay is dug and then mixed with water to form a smooth mixture. The smooth mixture is molded into rectangular wet bricks using a metallic or wooden molder. The wet bricks are allowed to dry in the sun. When the bricks are dried, they are baked in brick kilns. After baking, the bricks become very strong and durable. Then they are used to make walls of buildings. To construct a wall, bricks are arranged and joined together with cement. Cement. Cement is a finely ground powder. When mixed with sand and water, it sits to a very hard substance. A mixture of cement, sand and water is used to bind or join bricks together in order to make walls. This mixture of cement, sand and water is called mortar. When this mortar is mixed with crushed stones, it is called concrete. Thus, concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, crushed stones and water. After a few hours, the concrete becomes extremely hard and strong. It is used for making pillars, floors, roofs, roads and pavements. Steel. Steel rods are used to make the concrete stronger. While making pillars, floors or pavements, a network of steel rods is used with the concrete as a support. Wood and glass. Wood and glass are used to make doors and windows of the buildings. Glass is also used for internal partitions in the buildings. People who construct. Construction of a building is a tedious and time-consuming process. It requires the efforts of many people. There is an entire group of workers or skilled people who are involved in making houses, buildings, bridges and roads. Architect An architect draws up the plan of a building or a bridge. Once the plan is drawn up, the local government needs to approve the construction and only then the process of construction can begin. Civil Engineer A civil engineer executes the design made by the architect and maintains the construction process. Contractor and Laborers A laborer does physical labor on construction sites. A contractor is a person who appoints laborers and supervises their work at the construction site. He also arranges the materials required for making the house. Masons Masons are a group of professional people who construct the building using bricks and cement and set the foundation of the building. The mason lays the walls, roofs and pillars of the house. He uses tools like trowel, hammer, mallet, 
plumb bob, etc., to make straight walls and pillars. Many laborers carry cement or bricks on their heads and bring them to the mason for work. Welder. These days, steel and iron are used in most of the constructions. The job of a welder is to join together the metal parts, such as iron or steel, by heating. The process of joining together the metal pieces by providing heat is called welding. Electrician. An electrician is specialized in electric and other works related to the installation of the electrical equipment that will be required during and after the construction is complete. Carpenter. A carpenter is assigned to work with wood for making doors and windows of a house. He uses tools like saw, plane, gimlet, chisel and try squares for this work. Plumber. Every house or building needs proper channels of water. A plumber fits the pipelines so that the house or building gets an uninterrupted water supply. Painter. No construction is complete without a coat of paint. A painter paints the houses, buildings and bridges. Apart from them, glass fitters and interior decorators also play an important role in adding the final touch to a construction. A glazier cuts and polishes the glass of doors and windows. A tailor makes the curtains. An interior decorator decorates the interior of the house. Bridges. Man has been using bridges for hundreds of years. Bridges are usually made over rivers and streams. In earlier times, bridges were made with wooden logs or plants and sometimes stones. Nowadays, we see bridges everywhere. Bridges are also made over roads and railway lines. They help the traffic to move smoothly. Modern bridges are made up of steel and concrete. Types of bridges There are different types of bridges. Let us study about some of them. Traditional bamboo bridge. These bridges are usually found in villages or at places which receive plenty of rainfall. These are easy to construct. These bridges are not very safe. Logs of trees are used as pillars for support. Bamboo or flat wooden pieces are tied to these pillars using ropes. Beam bridge. A beam bridge is the simplest bridge in terms of its structure. It consists of a horizontal beam that is supported at each end with vertical pillars. A beam is a long, thick piece of wood, metal or concrete used in construction. Suspension bridge. A suspension bridge has cables or ropes strung across the river and the roadway is suspended from these cables. The earlier and simpler suspension bridges followed a shallow downward arc and were not suited to modern road or rail traffic. Cantilever bridge. A cantilever bridge is a bridge which is supported only by beams at the two opposite ends. The beams are cantilevers. The bridge extends in opposite directions from both ends and meets at the center. Arch bridge. An arch bridge is one of the oldest types of bridges. It is curved in the shape of an arch. The arch is supported at either end by structures called abutments. These supports carry the load of the arch and prevent it from being collapsed. Pontoon bridge. During floods and calamities, the army builds pontoon bridge using boats. A number of boats are tied together and a pathway is laid over them for people to cross. Some of these are quite strong and long-lasting.